we are, for the first time ever, our 30th anniversary at the Museum of Science and Industry here in Chicago, Illinois. And we are hosting the finals for the Rube Goldberg Machine Contest. And every division, that means the little kids in apprentice division, all the way up through college, have to complete the task to pour a bowl of cereal. My name is Jennifer George. I am Rube Goldberg's granddaughter. Uh, I am not the brains of this organization, but I am the DNA. We decided to do a cereal factory, um, and since General Mills was hosting it, we called it General Mills. I thought it was a very different task than anything that we've ever done, um, especially since we are pouring milk. It causes us to think a lot more about cleanup and how we're going to not make a huge mess with the cereal and the milk. Best machines have a theme. Um, the introductions are usually done in a very theatrical way and the kids get done up in costumes. And then it, you want them to be funny. What separates a Rube Goldberg machine from a chain reaction machine? They should make you laugh. The students, it's all of our first time being here. So it's pretty amazing to be able to see a bunch of people that have the same interests and supporting each other and also just like having our machine come together to this moment. I look at this as even bigger than STEM. It's Yes, you're learning about science and technology and engineering and math because if you're really going to calibrate your machine to work, you need to consider those things. But it's not in a sort of uh, schoolroom way. You're not learning at a desk or with a teacher. It's teamwork, it's camaraderie, it's trial and error. The kids are amazing, the machines are fantastic. It's sort of like Halloween meets the science room. It's just, it's a marvelous thing to watch.